into. I'm gonna wake up before everybody else and get the day started. Yesterday I went grocery shopping and I got some cinnamon toast crunch cereal and it was like filled with some vanilla cream or something like that. It was like a new one. And I love getting cinnamon toast crunch cereal and soaking it overnight and then using it for my lattes. Probably not best to do this in the morning before you know you have breakfast and just on an empty stomach, but it is what it is. I really want it right now, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I have this tea strainer that I use. So I put the cereal inside, pour in some milk, and just let it soak, and then you end up with this deliciousness. That's kind of like a flavored latte. It's so gloomy out right now, so there's not a lot of direct light, and it's not bright, so the quality right now is not that good. I'm trying to sit in front of the window, and I don't want to turn the lights because I don't want it to flash into the kids' room and wake them up. Hold on, first sip. I want to tell you guys a really funny story. Yesterday, I was scrolling on TikTok, and a video come up came up of a girl, and she was saying how she couldn't believe basically that God answered her prayers, or like God is so good. It has been so dry where she has been living, and she had a thought like, how awesome would it be if it rained? Like we really need some rain, and it was just like a passing thought. It wasn't like a whole prayer of god please let it rain it was just like a passing thought like how she just really wanted it to rain and then lo and behold that same day it started raining and she like turns the camera around and it's like pouring all over the city she shows like the landscape of the city and she's she also said that you know a lot of people will say oh that's just nature mother nature and she's like well god is nature he created nature like it says in romans you know people are without excuse you can see the awesome works of god and so i'm laying in bed and i'm like thinking the same thing it wasn't a prayer it wasn't like a dedicated prayer like i wish it would rain but i was like you know god it's been really dry we haven't had rain in so long i the south carolina heat is way too much for me so these are like thoughts that are running through my mind i'm like it would be cool if it rained and i kid you not i'm not making this up when i looked on the app the weather app the day before it was only supposed to rain like one day sometime next week and it was supposed to be like 90s 98 on next next sunday and i'm like oh my gosh this weather is so brutal i cannot wait until it rains after i watched that tiktok and had those thoughts of how it would be cool if it rained here too i went on the weather app like god is so funny i kid you not it showed rain clouds four days in a row but those four rain clouds right there and then 100% chance for today like it was just so crazy to me like he heard that I feel like that was God that was God and if you too think it's just nature I'm telling you there was one day just one day where it showed it would rain and I was like so disappointed and then I watched that TikTok and then lo and behold literally four days in a row but anyway I am reading through X I have this but you know what I noticed if you struggle reading this is just a passing thought that I had. So I have my woman's Bible. I love it. But I was at my sister's house and she gave me these right here. Her church does like Bible studies. So I picked these two up. And I noticed I prefer the style of this over the traditional like American style Bible. So this is how it's set up. He has like notes on the side. So like believes in him. Faith in Christ alone is the only means of salvation. And the verses are numbered, so 35, 36, 37, 38. And then once he gets to a new chapter, it will say like 11, 1. I don't know if you guys can even see because the quality sucks. But it's not set up like your traditional Bible where it's like true, the chapters are super duper separated. And I feel like I read it more like a book. And I think I read something once where uh, the scripts, the manuscripts, anytime I have a question, I go on gotquestions.org. So when the books of the Bible were originally written, they did not contain chapter or verse references. The Bible was divided into chapters and verses to help us find scriptures more quickly and easily. So it's much easier to find, for example, John 3, John chapter 3, verse 16, than it is to find, for God so loved the world. That's that. That's the history of that. But I feel like I prefer this right here. So I remember seeing on Amazon one time, there was an ESV Bible but it was like books. So it wasn't divided into chapters. It was kind of like reading a book. And for me personally, I have found that I enjoy that type of reading more than like if I'm just reading to read and continually read. That way I'm not like, oh, I did chapter 32 or 11, we're good. Okay, moving on. I don't know, my brain just functions better, I feel like. 
seeing it this way, so I don't know, I just wanted to share. But yeah, I'm reading through Acts, the start of the church, the persecution of the church. And now I am on Acts 13, Paul's first missionary journey. It shows that it's gonna rain within the next 25 minutes, so I'm gonna go outside and cover the Blackstone. I was gonna use it today and grill breakfast on it, but if it's gonna rain, It says light rain expected to start in seven minutes. It was drizzling a little bit outside when I was putting the cover on. But even if it starts drizzling, I think I wanna still use the Blackstone. And I wanted to make, I saw a recipe online where they take breakfast sausage, you can do patties, whatever, kind of smash them like a burger on top of a tortilla and then griddle, grill it with the sausage side down and then flip it until it fully cooks through and add your cheese, take them off, add your toppings, whatever. So I'm gonna try doing that because I bought some breakfast sausages the other day and I have tortillas. And by the time the kids wake up, I feel like perfect time. Like sausage breakfast, mm. taco, quesadilla thingies. Hop, Franklin. You're gonna make it? started drizzling outside, so I'm going to do the eggs indoors. I added some jalapeno in mine. I probably would have done like a salsa, but I don't want to wait. Pretty good. Spicy, I didn't take the seeds out. <coughs> I forgot that I had these for the kids that I wanted to do. They're like hash brown sticks. I think I'm going to pop them in the air fryer instead since I already clean the griddle and everything, and then also some fruit. Thank you. These lashes, I got them on Amazon. They are these light brown lashes. They're so fluffy. Well, they're not so fluffy, but they're kind of fluffy, and I think they're so pretty. I'll link them down below. If you like brown lashes, I think they're they're like a light brown, warm brown lash. And I feel like for me personally, I don't know, I like it. I feel like it's very unique. I want to hop on the bike right now and get like a zone two cardio workout in. So with zone two cardio, you want to do it for like, I'm starting out with 20 minutes because otherwise I get really bored. But you want to do it for like 30, 45. Some people do it for more. But because I get bored, I like to watch something on YouTube, so I'll turn something on the screen on my phone and screen mirror it, and I'll do like, sometimes I'll watch vlogs, sermons, whatever. I think today I wanna keep a light and just maybe like catch up on some vlogs since I really have nothing else going on today. That's just my life sometimes. I did a 20 minute workout and now it's lunch time so I'm thinking to do grilled cheese, why is it so bright? Grilled cheese on the griddle. I feel like that would be so delicious. I'm pretty sure the rain stopped so it shouldn't rain anymore. I feel like the hardest part of being a stay at home mom is trying to figure out what to do for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. <laughs> so we're gonna do grilled cheese. I'm gonna try it on the griddle and then like smoothies to kind of you know, balance it out.
loving this rainy weather. Listen, I love it. I love it. I made myself another latte. I'm running on coffee and Jesus today. I am. Just, I took like a five minute cat nap. I was sitting on the couch, told my kids to clean up because I'm gonna take them to the store right now. And I told them to clean up. And while they were cleaning up, I literally like snoozed. I want to get my circadian rhythm into waking up early and then going to bed earlier because right now I try to wake up early but then I go to bed late. So then I just end up being tired. So I'm trying to like shift things to how it used to be like years back. When I first had kids, they were such, they woke up so early. I had no choice but to wake up early. And then eventually they kind of like started sleeping and they still kind of wake up early. My daughter wakes, can sleep in. She loves to sleep, the oldest one, which is crazy because as a baby, she was a tough baby. The other two, they can wake up at like the crack of dawn and be fine. I don't know what it is. They could go to bed at midnight and wake up at the crack of dawn no matter what. It must be like because they're little, I don't know. Maybe it'll change when they're older. Okay, but I'm waiting for my kids to come in and I told them I would take them to the store. I need to go to Walmart and get some feminine hygiene things, which I'm actually excited for to get out of the house because I'm home so much so much that sometimes it just gets to be kind of boring and mundane and you almost feel like you're not really doing anything although you are you're taking care of human beings but you know what I mean like if you stay home mom sometimes it just gets boring like so I'm trying now the summer especially is around I really want to do more family activities outside stopped and it is bright sunshiny days outside but back at the store we got some cute little carnations white carnations to add to here because why not I feel like fresh flowers are just so nice to have in the house just like a small little bouquet I also picked up this tea here I thought it'd be nice to try out never tried it before but it has one gram of melatonin so it's not too bad and it's chamomile mint so I'm gonna give this a try today I also picked up this essential oil lemongrass scent and just to kind of diffuse for hopefully it smells nice oh yeah it does some microgreens to do on like avocado toast in the morning with some egg some more frozen fruit for smoothies some more berries stuff for soup Avocado is this. I'm gonna give these a try. These are it's like electrolytes, strawberry lemonade flavored. Tortillas to make crunch wrap, as for the husband's request. Some ketchup, chips for a movie night with pizza tomorrow. The goods. Oh, and then we need a, a new can opener. I had this one for such a long time, probably 10 years, and it just doesn't really work anymore. How cute are these? little cupcakes they're like cheeseburger cupcakes my kids really wanted them so i'm like all right whatever i have some leftover hamburger ground beef like that's already been made to be a hamburger so i'm going to use that and make crunch wrap it's like one of my husband's favorite things he asked me to do it in the morning and i was like let's wait till dinner <laughs> a little mini old navy haul i ordered a few things for myself usually i get stuff for the kids there i get a lot of points first thing is these sweatpants here so i actually have two pairs of their sweatpants that i got in the past and they are some of my favorite sweatpants ever i still have them the only thing is that once i washed them multiple times they kind of shrunk a little bit so they kind of go to my like right around my ankle bone which i'm not crazy about so i ordered this like kind of like the same exact ones in a gray color but in tall yeah <laughs> i should have gotten the short i might have to return these and just get the regular i didn't realize that the tall i mean it actually doesn't look half bad it almost looks like a boyfriend sweat like something i would take from my husband just kind of lounge around in the house yeah i feel like they're fine and these go well past my ankles so even if they do shrink next i got this like a double lined tank to wear 
with maxi skirts to church. You can wear it with jeans, um, underneath a sweater, cardigan, blazer, whatever. Just like a double lined scoop neck type tank. I got myself a, oh, this is not what I wanted. I thought this was a silver buckle. Is it silver or is it gold? No, it's silver. Yeah, it is silver. A zip, half zip sweatshirt. This one was on sale. And then with my reward points came out to like basically nothing, like a couple cents. Ooh, these actually look really nice. So this is their petite. Did they send me the wrong one or did I order the wrong one? These are going to be like crop leggings on me. These are the high rise go dry power soft. I really loved it. The seam is like there's no seam up top. And last but not least, I got this here, which I'm actually excited for. This is a swim skirt. I actually have quite a few bathing suits from Old Navy. And it has the underwear underneath and a little slit on the side, like barely visible slit. So these are the leggings. They're actually super duper comfortable. I might actually go back and get these in other colors just because of how comfortable they are. I love that they don't have the seam at the top, but they still have a little bit of compression. And the length is honestly fine. Like even though it's small petite, it's fine. I feel like these are probably longer than some of the 7 8 leggings that I buy from Crazy Yoga. And then this is a half zip sweatshirt. Just like, this is a really comfy outfit. And this is the swim skirt with the double line top. I do have like these round like huge covers. Not like your typical ones that are tiny, but like the big ones that are very, very thin and you can't really see the outline of, which I love them. And that's all that I have on underneath and I feel like it works great. It's double lined. It's actually a really great tank. And then the swim skirt really really cute almost looks like a little micro mini but for the beach i feel like this is actually really cute all right guys the kids are all asleep i took a shower did our like nighttime routine prayed they're in bed sleeping and then i ended up doing a 30 minute be the method workout so it was 30 minutes thighs and glutes today this is when i usually either i'll sit and scroll on my phone or I like to read sometimes, sometimes. I need to get better into the habit of reading at night because I feel like it's so much better than scrolling on your phone, especially when it comes to sleeping. But I kind of want a latte. I know I bought that tea, but I probably should have the tea. Yeah. I'll wait until tomorrow morning to have the latte. I think I'm gonna have the tea right now. Add some honey. This is actually my dad's honey. He makes his own for honey. He has bees, keeps bees. There's a whole shebang. I was looking at the weather. It has now changed to, I think, two days of rain, which I'm actually so glad we got rain today. I'm telling you, answered prayer from God. But I saw at the bottom, it gives like alerts and stuff and says that North Carolina officially, oh, is somebody doing a bonfire? Oh, that's so nice. We should do one. North Carolina is officially declared drought and I'm like like farmers are struggling and I don't think it's just North Carolina I think South Carolina maybe too but I'm telling y'all praise the Lord for some rain today and hopefully the next two days because after that again looks like this weather is just something else I tell you I'll let you guys know in the next vlog if this worked well or not the one milligram of melatonin but thanks for hanging out with me and see you guys in the next one